Hey everybody, rocking with the Rock Dog. We're out here on December 14, 2021, and it's 60 degrees out here or better on this December afternoon. But the weather feels a little unsettled, so something's gonna happen. Anyway, um, some people like that video I made yesterday on telling you how I make arrowheads come to me. So I'll show you another little trick that I use. We're expecting some rain tonight. I don't know how much. If it's just an inch um this will work out pretty good if it's two inches maybe but more than that i'm kind of wasting my time but what i'm doing we've had a little bit of rain and it sorted all the gravel out of these rocks see how the bigger rocks are on top uh you can see where i kicked that down with my foot the other day right over there just uh dicking around um i do that so when we get an inch rain there could be a bird point or something laying right on top there and because like once you remove all those big rocks like in that pile right there down below where i kicked because um, anything that was on top of there when the county moved that has sifted to where I kicked that down like over here So what I did today is I brought my garden hoe with me And I'm raking this bigger stuff right here off the top I'm actually trying to get it back up here against the bridge because man for the longest we could just drive over This way to get to this river bar, but if you ain't paying attention now That would be a bad idea because you got about a two-foot drop here So I'm just kind of scratching this off getting the bigger stuff down there and then tonight if we get a little bit of rain this stuff here will all sift out real nice for me and i'll get down here about daylight in the morning if there's the creek ain't moving and look on this part that i'm scratching down maybe i'll find something but just digging around in a little spot like this this bigger stuff you can find some relics kind of like things like this there's a chip off something somebody maybe beat on a long time ago that looks like some kind of a little handheld tool of some kind um there's a pretty big scraper right there and this here is obviously some kind of a huge hand axe there's where your hand would go i don't really know how you'd use it probably like that and just chop stuff but if you're not finding stuff like that you're not going to find points that's just how it is so um a lot of people like to look for arrowheads but they don't realize that you'll find 200 of those before you'll find a good arrowhead so that's what i'll show you how to find stuff like that and then you'll have to find the pointy ones yourself generally if it fits in your hand and it's chipped on it's been a tool if you don't know if it's a tool or not just hold it in your hand for about two minutes while you're walking around and if it's a tool your hand will fit itself to that tool anyway um we're just scraping this around, get this moved down. This over here is going to move down real easy. See, I'll be able to pull this all off to where I want it in just a few seconds. Just like that. All I really do is just this old garden hoe I've had my whole life. I'll just, you know, you want to need a hoe, but you don't want to use a small tool because it's too hard on your forearms. When you use a big tool like this, um, you get to work, work your whole arm and you can use it to hold yourself from falling across the creeks and stuff. Plus, you're less likely to leave that laying by the creek and not be able to find it when you come back through. Hey, anybody, everybody, um, we'll come back here, take a look at this tomorrow. Maybe there'll be something laying out. If there is, I'll film it. If there's not, um, it's still a good tip. I mean, it's what I do to find lots and lots of artifacts every year in places like this. Just move the rocks around. Um, any place like right this, this is what a hose is good for. You don't gotta bend over, you get some leverage. Pull that right out of there. Maybe then come through here in 15 minutes after the water's cleared up. Might be a real nice point laying right there because that's where they get caught up when the creek comes through. They get trapped underneath them big rocks. Just like little pieces of gold. They're flat and they wedge right underneath there. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Rock Dog out.